Today we're off on a half-day excursion into the Lake District of Salzburg. It's just about an hour's drive out of town through some beautiful scenery, through the alpine-type scenery. We're passing the chalets and the farmlands, the cows pasturing in the fields, and there's a number of small and large lakes that we go by. We're heading particularly for the Wolfgangsee, Lake Wolfgang. And we're going to enjoy a little walk through the village of St. Wolfgang, and then we'll take you on a boat ride. This region is called the Salzkammergut, and you could get there by public bus from Salzburg. There's a public bus station opposite the railway station, and just get on the public bus. It takes about an hour and a half or two hours to get over here. But the most convenient way is on a bus tour, half-day bus tour, as we're doing today. Starting out with some orientation in this little village, it doesn't take long. Passing the Weissen Russel. This is the White Horse Inn, a very famous hotel and restaurant. There was an operetta written in the 1930s, the White Horse Inn, and that helped to revive the fame of this little lakeside resort town but people have been flocking here ever since the 12th century when it was a pilgrimage town. And you can see why people would want to come to St. Wolfgang. Especially now, it's so pleasant with this outdoor terrace cafe. It's great for swimming, the water's very clean. They do allow motorboats, but still there's no pollution around the shores of the lake. There's a number of these steamers. There's a side paddle steamer and other boats that offer fairly good service between the different villages, particularly between St. Wolfgang and St. Gilgen, as we'll be doing in just a little bit, but not quite yet. We're not quite ready to leave yet. There's more time to relax and pass the afternoon. We spend a couple hours here, which is nice. You can have a meal or just a snack, maybe a pastry treat and a coffee. Do a little shopping around, of course, and snap your pickies and just generally relax and enjoy the scene. The most important historic attraction is the church dedicated to St. Wolfgang, and the masterpiece is the wooden altar carved by Michael Pocker, late Gothic masterpiece from the late 1400s. He was the leading woodcarver from the Tyrol and heralded the onset of the Renaissance. The church itself was constructed during the Gothic period in the early 15th century and it has Baroque interior decorations and a nice cloister outside with a view of the waters. You can just enjoy these ducks and swans going by. You could charter a little motorboat for the family, take a little putt-putt ride around the environs of the village if you like, or complete your visit and get onto the steamer and depart. Already time to depart St. Wolfgang. Just a classic little village in the Austrian Lake District. Some final views of the center of the village as we cruise on by. You can see that tower of the church and they have very pleasant little hotels and guest inns. The White Horse Inn is the most famous one, but all along the shores of the lake there are various places that you could stay. You can actually walk the same routing. There's a lakefront promenade. It takes three hours to walk from St. Wolfgang to St. Kilgan, but we'd much rather take the boat and relax. It's just about a 25 minute, 30 minute boat ride right across from one end of the lake to the other. Wolfgangsee, or Lake Wolfgang. There are some dramatic cliffs along the routing, and here's a lucky fellow with his lady rowing the boat for him. Out for some sport and recreation. So the little village of Wolfgang just has about 3,000 inhabitants, and there's another couple thousand people scattered along, and different villages on the lake front itself. The fleet of ships on the lake offer a comfortable service. You can sit up top outside or down below in the bar and have a drink, have some pastries or a light snack if you like, pass the time of day. 
You can buy your boat ticket right at St. Wolfgang. You don't have to purchase a round trip. Let's say if you parked your car at St. Gilgen, you can just go one way and then that way you're free to catch the next boat coming back at your convenience. And soon enough, the boat ride's over and we walk through another charming little village. This is St. Gilgen. It's famous as being the home of the mother of Mozart and the home of this black and white cat and other creatures of the village, some local people. It's a resort center as well. Traditional wedding march through the town. Austrians love their music. Mozart's sister also lived here. At the end of the program, we'll show you a little bit more of some of the marching bands of this area. You can take a cable car ride up the mountain or more likely just hop back on your tour bus for the short ride back into Salzburg. Less than half an hour passing the Monze and a couple of other of the lakes of this Salzkammer district and you're transported back to town. <laughs>